Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi. So, in this video, we are still at chapter 11 and means we are going to learn about 11.3 physical properties. Okay, jadi untuk physical properties macam biasa, uh, macam previous previous chapter, kita akan go through about uh, boiling points and also solubility. Okay, so at the end of this video, you should be able to explain about boiling points and also solubility of amines. Okay, jadi ada satu lagi penambahan untuk physical properties of amines iaitu basicity. Okay, uh, jadi untuk basicity saya takkan cover dalam video pada kali ini. So, basicity uh, dalam part 2 for physical properties. Okay, so for this video, we're going to learn about solubility and boiling points of amines only. So, kita pergi kepada boiling points dahulu. So, untuk boiling points ada beberapa arrangement yang kita uh, nak tengok. So, yang pertama adalah between different class of amine. Ha, jadi, kita ada semua compounds kita adalah amine tapi class dia adalah berbeza. So, untuk compound yang pertama, this is a primary. Okay, again saya tunjuk macam mana kita nak tahu class. Tengok nitrogen, okay, bonded dengan okay, one carbon. So, that's a primary. Okay, yang ini secondary sebab nitrogen is bonded to 2 carbon and the final one, nitrogen, nitrogen is bonded to 3 carbon. Okay, jadi tertiary. And the molecular mass is same but if we look at the boiling points, okay, uh, primary 49 and secondary is 37. Uh, jadi boleh nampak dekat sini ada uh, sikit lah perbezaan dia kan. Tapi untuk tertiary terus drop pergi 4 degree Celsius. So boleh nampak untuk tertiary sangat berbeza Boiling points if we compare to primary and secondary. Hmm. Jadi kenapa macam tu? So from this table, we can conclude that primary amines paling tinggi. Okay, boiling points followed by secondary amines and the last one is tertiary amines. Ah, yang sangat banyaklah beza dia kan? Okay, so now kita nak explain why the arrangement is like this. So for the boiling points as usual, before we arrange please determine the intermolecular force. Uh, so, ada hydrogen bonds ataupun van der Waals force. Jadi, uh, kalau nak tahu dia boleh buat hydrogen bond ke tak, adakah HF bond atau HO bond atau HN bond dalam compound tersebut? Hmm, untuk amines, okay, uh, for primary and secondary amines. Okay, kalau primary, alkyl group bonded to NH2. Okay, secondary alkyl group and alkyl group hydrogen. Okay, uh, jadi kat sini boleh nampak uh, ada NH bond untuk primary dengan secondary. Therefore, both can form hydrogen bond. Okay, uh, jadi kalau dua-dua primary dengan secondary amines ni boleh buat hydrogen bond, kenapa primary lagi tinggi? Because primary amine can form more hydrogen bond compared to secondary amine with similar molecular mass. Therefore, boiling points of primary amines is higher if we compare to secondary amine. Okay. Jadi, kalau nak tengok, okay, about the uh, hydrogen bond, ah, boleh tengok dekat sini. So, kita boleh nampak, uh, kalau nak compare boiling points, memang intermolecular. Maksudnya, force exists between the primary amines with another primary amines, okay, between the molecules. So, boleh nampak hydrogen bond dia, okay, ini, this is the hydrogen bond, okay, for primary amines. So, untuk secondary amines pula, okay, we have one secondary amines molecules here and another secondary amine. So, this is the boiling point. Okay, boleh nampak beza antara, okay, primary, okay, uh, hydrogen bond dengan secondary hydrogen bond. Uh, so, uh, based on this, boleh nampaklah primary amines lagi banyak hydrogen bond compared to secondary. That's why primary amines higher boiling points. Okay, so settle with the secondary and primary. What about tertiary amines? Kenapa banyak sangat beza uh, about the boiling points? Okay, uh, dia paling rendah lepas tu sangat beza dia punya boiling point. Okay. So, for the tertiary amine, so boleh nampak dekat sini, dia tak ada hydrogen atom yang bonded dengan nitrogen. So, for the tertiary amine, dia tak ada HN bond. Therefore, the tertiary amine cannot form hydrogen bond between the molecules. So, kalau dia tak boleh buat hydrogen bond, dia ada apa je? Only 
has won the wars for okay uh, jadinya sekarang uh, untuk tertiary admin ada uh, won the wars for sahaja uh, lagi specific dipole dipole force lah sebab uh, it is a polar molecule Jadinya sekarang, kalau ada van der Waals force sahaja, that's why tertiary amine paling rendah boiling points because van der Waals force is weaker if we compare uh, with hydrogen bond. Okay? Uh, that's why tertiary amine paling rendah boiling point dia. Okay, jadi boleh tengok dekat sini lah. Ha, jadi, uh, this is one tertiary eh, tertiary amine and another tertiary amine so tak boleh nak wujud uh, hydrogen bond sebab tak ada hydrogen attached to the nitrogen pun okey ah jadi existnya apa dekat tertiary amine ni dia ada van der Waals force on the okey so that's for the different class of amine ah jadi harapnya boleh faham dekat situlah kenapa susunannya begitu so sekarang kita nak tengok same class of amine. Ha, jadi ada uh, amines yang mempunyai kelas yang sama. Okay. Jadi contoh dekat sini, all three compounds are primary amines. Okay. So primary amines sebab uh, boleh nampaklah nitrogen bonded to one carbon only. Okay. Uh, jadi kalau dekat sini, since class dia adalah sama, kita dah tak boleh nak compare hydrogen bond because the hydrogen bond is same. Mm, jadi, kalau tak boleh nak compare hydrogen bond, what's the next force that we can compare? The van der Waals force. Because all compounds has a van der Waals force. Okay, ha, jadi ni lebih kurang sama macam previous chapter yang kita dah go through. Ha, first, uh, tengok hydrogen bond. So, kalau dah tak boleh compare hydrogen bond, kita nak compare van der Waals force dia pula. So, for the van der Waals force, the first, okay, dominant factor priority adalah molecular weight. Okay. So, the larger the molecular weight or size, the stronger, okay, the stronger the van der Waals force between the molecules. So, dekat sini kita boleh nampak. Okay, ni dia punya um, carbon. Okay, ini ada dua. Okay, ini ada satu, dua, tiga, empat carbon. Okay, jadi untuk yang ini boleh nampak makin ke sana, okay, makin ke sini. Okay, molecular weight dia makin tinggi because the number of carbon is increased. Okay, therefore, for this, kita boleh conclude kan uh, boiling points, okay, untuk uh, this, the first compounds is lowest, okay, followed by this and the last one, uh, yang ni paling tinggi lah sebab paling banyak carbon. This is largest, okay, molecular weight ataupun size. Okay, jadi kalau lagi besar size, okay, lagi kuat van der Waals force. Therefore, the boiling points will increase, okay. Okay, higher boiling points lah. Ha, jadi dekat sini ha, boleh kita tengok uh, kalau dia sama kelas, yes, I mean it's the same class. Uh, next yang awak kena tengok adalah bilangan carbon ataupun molecular weight. Okay, so next. Same class, same number of carbon. Okay, jadi case yang seterusnya. Class sama and then bila kita kira bilangan carbon ataupun molecular weight, eh sama juga. Hmm, jadi faktor apa seterusnya yang kita kena tengok? For the same class and same same number of carbon, the next thing that you we have to look is the branch. Okay? So, the more the branch, the smaller the surface area. Oh, sorry. Okay? Ha, jadi, bila surface area lagi kecil, van der Waals is weaker. Therefore, lower boiling points. Okay? Jadi dekat sini sama je konsep. Uh, ini macam kita dah go through juga dalam previous chapter. Jadi saya harap benda ni bukan benda barulah. Okay. This is an, apa ni awak familiar dengan dengan explanation like this. Okay. Jadi contoh uh, yang P, okay, compounds P. Kita ada CH3 and then CH2 ada 3. So CH2, 1, 2, 3, CH2. Okay, bonded to NH2. Okay, so that's for P. Okay, untuk Q kita ada 3 CH3 bonded to the carbon. And then uh, NH2. Okay, untuk R, CH3, CH2, CH. Dekat sini ada CH3, NH2. Okay, so that's for P, Q and R. Jadi dekat sini boleh nampak the class is same. All is primary, I mean. Okay, tapi uh, bila nak kira carbon, okay. So now kita nak kira carbon. 1, 2, 3. Okay, this is 4 carbon. Okay, for the Q, 
4 carbon juga. Okey, untuk R, 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon juga. Jadi, bilangan carbon ni semua sama. Okey, jadi awak kena tengok branch. Okey, kita boleh tengok kat sini. Surface area dia lagi besar sebab dia tak ada branch langsung. So, untuk Q, this is the surface area. And untuk R, this is the surface area. Okay, so boleh nampak lagi banyak branch, surface area makin kecil. Jadinya, okay, Van der Waals force makin lemah. Kalau kita nak susun untuk PQR, awak rasa macam mana boiling point? Siapa yang paling rendah? Q paling banyak branch kan? Ha, jadi, paling rendah boiling point. Follow by R and lastly is P. Okay, ha, so this is the boiling point. Okay, jadi uh, hopefully boleh fahamlah about the arrangement for boiling points between amines. Okay, uh, so tengok kelas dulu. So, kalau sama kelas, tengok carbon. Kalau sama carbon lagi, tengok branch. Okay, so for another arrangement of boiling points, sekarang kita nak tengok between amines and other compounds. Uh, jadi, sekarang bila dah sampai amine, bolehlah nak compare dengan compound-compound yang kita dah belajar sebelum ini. So, kita ada alkane, carbonyl, amine, alkohol dan carboxylic acid. So, if we look at the boiling point, boleh nampak dekat sini, carboxylic acid paling tinggi. Ha, ni pun memang saya dah explain dalam tajuk carboxylic acid. Memang COOH paling tinggi boiling point. Okay. So, follow by alcohol. Okay. And then amine. Dah sekali carbonyl dan alkane. Okay. Jadi uh, untuk susunan ni kalau kita nak explain sama juga kita kena tengok intermolecular force only. Uh, intermolecular force first. Okay. So the boiling point is depends on the types of IMF between the molecules. Jadi untuk alkane dengan karbonil. Jadi alkane dengan karbonil ni dia tak ada hash fun bond tau dalam compound dia. So alkane ni adalah okay, R. So karbonil dia adalah C double bond O. Okay, sama ada hidrogen atau karbon lah. Okay, jadi dekat sini kita boleh nampak tak ada hidrogen bond. So, kalau tak ada hidrogen bond, diorang ada van der Waals force only. Okay, tapi untuk alkane dia non-polar. So, bila dia non-polar, dia punya uh, apa van der Waals force lagi lemah. Okay, untuk karbonil dia adalah polar compounds. Okay, polar sebab ada ni between uh, karbon dengan oksigen. Jadi, bila polar, the van der Waals force is stronger. Between carbonyl compounds. And amine. So amine ini dia ada hydrogen. Uh, alcohol pun ada hydrogen bond. Carboxylic acid uh, pun ada hydrogen bond. Okay. Uh, jadi kat sini boleh nampak lah. Uh, ini menyebabkan these three compounds can form hydrogen bond. Okay. Uh, tapi since uh, amine, alcohol dan carboxylic acid semua boleh buat hydrogen bond. Macam mana kita nak susun? Uh, jadi kita kena tengok uh, kekuatan. Okay. The strength of hydrogen bond. So, okay, let's look at the explanation. So, saya uh, recap balik the apa arrangement. So, alkane paling rendah follow by carbonyl. Uh, okay, kalau carbonyl ni, kes dia sama je dengan haloalkane tau. Contoh, kalau ada soalan letak haloalkane, uh, dia punya explanation ataupun arrangement sama je macam carbonyl. Okay. Jadi, kita nak tengok kenapa alkane lagi rendah daripada carbonyl ataupun carbonyl lagi tinggi. So, boiling points of carbonyl, okay, so now we talk about the carbonyl, is higher compared to alkane because they are polar. Okay, uh, so, tadi pun kita dah tengok kan, uh, untuk carbonyl, dia polar. Thus, can form stronger hydrogen bond, eh, hydrogen bond pula. Van der Waals force compared to alkane. Okay, uh, jadi, uh, that's why kenapa susunan carbonyl lagi tinggi. Okay, next. For the next era, apa, arrangement adalah lepas karbonil, amin dengan alkohol. Okay, last kali adalah carboxylic acid. Okay, senang kita nak tengok kenapa oh, macam ni. Sedangkan, ini boleh buat hydrogen bond. Okay, ini pun boleh buat hydrogen bond. Okay, tapi kenapa amin lagi rendah daripada alkohol? Okay, so alcohol has higher boiling point. So now kita cakap pasal alcohol. Okay, as our subject. So alcohol has higher boiling points than amine because the hydrogen bond of alcohol is stronger. Okay, jadi kenapa hydrogen bond untuk alcohol lagi kuat kalau kita nak compare dengan amine? Because the hydrogen bond in alcohol exists between O dengan H kan untuk alcohol. 
Tapi untuk amin dia adalah antara nitrogen dengan hidrogen. So this is oxygen, this is nitrogen. Uh, oxygen is more electronegative compared to nitrogen. Okay, ha, jadi kenapa boiling points untuk uh, alkohol lagi tinggi? Sebab hidrogen bond dia lagi kuat. Kenapa lagi kuat? Sebab oxygen more electronegative compared to nitrogen. Okay. And the last one is uh, carboxylic acid. Kenapa paling tinggi? Okay, ni memang uh, carboxylic acid je yang ada. Uh, it can form dimer. Okay, so dimer through hydrogen bond does has strongest. Uh, therefore, dia punya hydrogen bond paling kuat. Okay, therefore dia paling tinggi. Okay, jadi uh, saya dah explain about all of the arrangement for boiling points of amines. Okay, jadi you have tried this one. I want you to arrange the following compounds according to ascending. Okay, from lower to higher boiling points. Okay. So that's for the boiling point. So kita teruskan dengan solubility in water. Okay, ah, jadi untuk solubility in water macam biasa tengok dulu boleh ke tak buat hydrogen bond with water. Okay, so kalau boleh buat hydrogen bond dengan air maksudnya soluble lah dalam air begitu. Okay, so all amines. Okay, all amines tak kisahlah. Okay, primary ke, secondary ke, tertiary. Semua soluble in water. Why? Because all amines can form. Okay, oh sorry. Can form hydrogen bonds with water. Okay, walaupun tertiary amine. Ha, huh. tadi saya cakap eh tertiary amine tak boleh pun buat hydrogen bond sebab dia tak ada H and bond kan. Okay, so sekarang saya nak explain kenapa tiba-tiba hmm, tertiary amine boleh pula buat hydrogen bond dengan air. Okay, jadi kita nak tengok dulu untuk uh, primary dengan secondary. So this is primary amines and this is a secondary amine. So, kalau kita tengok dekat sini, okay, primary amine, this is the hydrogen bond and secondary amine, this is the hydrogen bond. Okay, jadi untuk primary amines, 3 hydrogen bond per 1 primary amine. So, untuk secondary, 2 hydrogen bond per uh, 1 secondary amine molecule. Okay, uh, dengan air. Jadi, uh, that's for primary and secondary. Uh, boleh nampak kat sini lah, primary lagi banyak hydrogen bond, okay. So, untuk uh, tertiary, walaupun dia tak ada hydrogen atom to the nitrogen. Okay, uh, contoh macam ni, uh, boleh nampak lah. Tak ada, hydrogen pot, uh, tak ada hydrogen pun attached dengan nitrogen kan. Tapi, uh, kalau ikutkan, dia tak boleh buat hydrogen bond dengan themselves. So, maksudnya kalau saya ada uh, tertiary amine, okay, dia takkan boleh buat hydrogen bond dengan another tertiary amine. Okay. Tapi dia boleh buat hydrogen bond dengan water molecule because it has the lone pair at nitrogen. Okay. Jadi boiling point yang uh, exist adalah between nitrogen dengan air. Okay. Jadi masih boleh buat hydrogen bond lah. Cuma nampak dekat sini ada satu je hydrogen bond per tertiary amine molecule. Okay. Jadi kalau kita nak compare solubility of amine, so boleh nampak uh, untuk tertiary amine paling rendah followed by secondary amines and last adalah primary amine. Okay. So the solubility increase from tertiary to primary due to increase in number of hydrogen bond. Okay. Uh, so tadi pun saya dah tunjuk boleh nampak kan uh, primary lagi banyak hydrogen bond followed by secondary and last is tertiary amine with water. Okay. And uh, that's why solubility dia uh, meningkat lah daripada tertiary kepada primary. Okay, yang seterusnya masih konsep yang sama. Kalau awak ada um, lagi tinggi molecular weight, okay, the solubility will decrease. Okay, kenapa? The hydrophobic area. So because hydrophobic area, okay, uh, sebab uh, apa alkyl group kan dia tak larut dalam air kan dia fobia dengan air so hydrophobic area increase ataupun becomes larger and the last one aromatic amines ah bila aromatic ni maksudnya yang ada benzene directly attached to the nitrogen okey uh, jadi untuk aromatic amines kalau kita compare dengan aliphatic uh, is actually less soluble Uh, because huge aromatic ring. Jadi aromatic ring ni pun sama. Dia tak larut dalam air sebab dia adalah hydrophobic part. Okay. Uh, jadi that's for the solubility. 
uh, therefore, okay, uh, we have finished about um, boiling points and solubility. I hope that you can arrange the boiling points in try this one and you can understand about the solubility in water for amines. Okay, so that's all for part one of uh, physical properties. Please check uh, part two for basicity between amines. So that's all for this video. Thank you for listening.